I take those two U bolts out. Now I'm just gonna take these two U bolts out, and then this tire fender can uh, come away, and then I can get to the leaf springs much easier. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Grab the two U bolts. This one. Fender wheel fender. Those two bolts came out. Okay. I have one locked on there just to keep it so it doesn't fall. Uh, so I can remove these two. But these two are so rusty that they remove the bud. So I'm going to use torch to try to heat them up and then uh, use my impact driver. Hopefully they will budge after I apply heat to them. Okay, so there you have it. After torching these two bolts, these two uh, knots and I used my impact driver and they came down so which is pretty good I'm gonna remove the other side and I'm gonna drop this uh, wheel in so this uh, leaf spring is um, the rusted the leaf spring is off the trailer and you can see the axle and the spindle um, they're both off the trailer so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it out and um, show you what it looked like um, and I have my uh, bolt security jacked up so hopefully I'll be able to order new parts and get this over with okay so it's been a long journey tough few days and you can see this side the right hand side uh, the castle now came off really easily there is no ton uh, 10 ton whatsoever um, it just uh, I haven't uh, removed the or uh, repacked the bearing for a long time. I never, re never, um, never uh, removed the castle knot, and that's why I'm paying the price now. So you know, do your maintenance. Uh, open up the castle knot uh, every year, um, so this way you can avoid uh, a co costly uh, mistakes. So I'll be probably buying a new axle and spindle um, as we speak, because uh, I'm gonna try to. Um, remove the castle now from the other side but I, I doubt the threat will be uh, untouched I think the threat will be destroyed after I uh, remove the remove the uh, castle knot okay this one came off really easily and uh, I was okay with this one but this side but the other side it's uh, terrible it's been uh, supposed to be um, 15 minutes job turned out to be a you know two days job or even three or four I don't know how many days it's gonna be but I'm gonna take a measurement of this uh, uh, axle and then uh, spindle and then uh, get new ones okay this uh, rusted uh, leaf spring I uh, removed it off the boat trailer so now I can uh, completely uh, tackle it easily. And um, you can see these U-bolts are pretty rusted. So instead of cutting them off, I realized that um, I could just use a torch, propane torch, um, to apply heat to these bolts and then apply my impact driver and they would come out. Because that's what happened to uh, the other two U-bolts uh, screws that didn't want to come off I just used a uh, torch apply heat to it to them and then I was able to remove them and this is the right hand side of the spindle trailer spindle you can see um, it's very nice the castle knot came out easily and uh, these uh, uh, bearings are very these are these uh, spindles are very smooth there is no damage at all and there is no tongue ten tongue uh, and washer in the behind the castle knot either so uh, it was uh, easily removed now we come to the um, this is the left hand side if you look from the front of the boat trailer and this castle knot is so screwed up um, and uh, it would not want to come out so I'm gonna apply heat and then um, maybe cut it off I don't know um, but I may destroy the thread 
um, and then I may need to I may end up uh, uh, need to buy a, a new um, axle and spindle um, so that's what you're looking at now um, you know so five uh, lugs on um, uh, 4.5 inches uh, disc or hub um, so there's the the trailer axle it's pretty thick it's a standard uh, two and three eighths of an inch I think and uh, holds up to uh, 3,500 pounds of boat you know pretty uh, amazing it's a lot of inch I think I'm gonna apply some uh, buck killer anyway so there you have it yeah so the full axle trailer axle the lead spring over there I um, cut them off already but um, this one I think I'm just gonna apply a uh, torch propane torch apply heat and then uh, I should be able to easily remove them uh, replace the lead spring um, so there you have it